All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to begin by building our own uh, homepage on Blackboard. The first thing that you need to do is you need to log into Blackboard. When that has been done, you'll see all of the courses you're taking and their Blackboard equivalents uh, in the My Courses on your main page of your Blackboard over on the right side. Now, I would show you in our own classroom environment. However, um, it's not something I'm going to be able to do as the teacher. I, I don't get a home page. I, I get an uh, instructor information page, which is a little bit different. Um, so I'm going to show you in one of my classes that I'm taking. I'm taking uh, teaching and learning in Second Life. And this is one of those classes that, uh, that I hope everybody who likes this kind of stuff gets a chance to take. Uh, Second Life, of course, is a video game environment. Um, and at the same time a social online community. It's a pretty kind of cool thing that we'll learn uh, more about later in the semester. What we're going to do is we're going to go over here on the left side and look in the tools column. You'll see a, a button that says tools. Once you click it, it brings up a number of other options and these are the tools available for this course in Blackboard including address book, calendar, personal information, user's manual, and things like that. In the middle here we have our home page. So we're going to select home page. And it brings up our home page. Now I've filled in a few things here to save time in this uh, tutorial video. But what you'll want to do is you'll want to give an introduction to the class. You'll want to uh, take a look and, uh, and give us some of your personal information. I've written just a few things. Hello everyone, I'm 36 and just finishing my master's program in ed tech. Serve as the assistant director of the Blue Thunder Marching Band and will be starting my doctoral program in the spring. Down here is some information about where I went to school, where I taught, um, a beautiful wife and four babies, um, and uh, just a little something about me. Um, down below in the third section, we have favorite websites. And these are some websites I want you to fill in so that we have an opportunity to bounce around and visit some of the stuff that you like. Obviously, we've got to keep this PG. Um, which we always do, of course. But I've given you just a couple. Homestar Runner, one of my favorites, uh, the site that I've created. Just fill these boxes in with the URL, which you can copy and paste as well, um, and, and create this. You're also going to want to add a picture. If you don't have a picture uh, located somewhere online that you want to pull down and use, um, we can uh, take a picture in this class and, and you can add it. But simply what you'll do is with the, with the photo on the computer already, we simply choose file. I happen to have this one sitting ready to go. It's one of my favorite pictures of me working in my home office. I select it and as soon as I hit submit, which is on the bottom of this page, it will upload. Let's do that now. And when it uploads, I'll be able to then go back and view that page and see the picture. My suggestion is when we choose pictures, we need to choose some smaller pictures um, because although it will do some compression, um, it's very easy to get a, a picture that's far too large on your home page. Now that you've done this, people know who you are. People in the class can identify your face with some things about you that you've selected to share with them. And this is the basic idea of how you create your home page in Blackboard. Now one little note about the pages in Blackboard, if you create a page in one class, it does not automatically create that page in another. You'll have to create those individually for each course. And you may want to choose and list different information for each course, um, depending on your background relative to what you're doing. So this is just an introduction in how we create our Blackboard homepage for each course.